I was chatting with Julie Walters about it. And I said, you know, what would, how do you go about that, like making yourself tearful and everything? And she said to me that if you get yourself into that, that zone before you go on set, and then even if you're walking to set and people try and talk to you, almost like blank them, so you're in that zone, you can always apologise later. And, um, and just doing it was a bit, it was surreal in one way, because first of all, I thought it would be a close set, meaning there would only be the Weasley family there and the director. Wrong. It was the Great Hall and there was about as many people as you in this, a room about this size um, watching me cry like a little girl, um, which was, which was, it was all right. But apart from that, it wasn't as bad as I've, like people have sent me photos online on Twitter and there's a load of wording on it where it says, when Oliver and James filled Fred and George's death, oh, Fred's death scene, um, they cried and they hugged each other at the end and said, I love you. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> no, we didn't really do that. In fact, James went to sleep and I left him on the floor because I went to lunch. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was an interesting scene because it was a very final, that's it for these, these as a double act, as it were. Um, but it was, uh, it was different to a lot of other days we had on Potter.